Here's an interesting question. If you had a chance to sit down and talk to yourself, someone who's an exact copy of you, and having the same appearance, same brain, same age, what would you talk about? That is an interesting question. Well, it can only be a hypothetical situation because it's impossible to have an exact copy of something without destroying the original thing. It's physics. Remember learning about quantum teleportation and the no cloning theorem? Yeah, those are the good old days. You know, a tiny part of me still wishes to continue studying physics. To learn the mathematics of the universe. It's not my true calling. I know it. Something doesn't feel right anymore. But still, my curiosity to, to learn more about the universe is never going to go away. I'm just learning it in a different way now. In my own kind of way. Okay. How about a different question? If, if I could talk to a copy of me, could I learn something new about myself? Something I don't already know about? Do you think that's possible? I think it'd be a lot like looking at yourself in the mirror. Only, the reflection isn't moving the same way you are. And sometimes when you look at yourself in the mirror, you might notice something different. Like you might notice a new pimple on your forehead or that your hair's grown a bit longer. So in that sense, I think you would notice some things about your habits or behavior from an outside perspective. Yeah, I agree with that. But it's still not learning something new about yourself. Is it possible though? It's like, Trying to explain a concept that you never learned. No, I don't think it's like that. Okay, let's say for the sake of argument that you do learn new information about yourself through this conversation. Already there's gotta be a contradiction because that piece of information can't be new since it's coming from you. You already had it in you. And maybe it seems new because you forgot that part about you and you're just re-realizing it again. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. You have a point. I like the way you think. Maybe that's what it means to get to know yourself. Yeah, and I think it's one hell of a journey that anyone can ever take. Getting to know yourself. What would be the first question you would ask? Realistically, I think I would ask, how the fuck is this possible? Well, since we're pretty much breaking the laws of physics right now as we speak, I guess we're not real. Are you saying we're living in a simulation?